I've done mostly shorts. Mm -hmm. I've done mostly narrative because I write. Okay. Um, this past year, November, I embarked. I started on my first documentary project, um, which is going to be a longer project, um, and it's about. Malim Julius Nyerere, who was the first president of Tanzania, um, which is where my family's from. Um, and he was a socialist and a pan-Africanist and a huge champion of um, liberation movements across mm. Africa nice. um, and was one of the f um, frontline states to support the liberation of the southern states. So Mozambique, Angola, Namibia, South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, you know, all of the those whole. people were, all had sort of headquarters camped out in Dar es Salaam city okay. in Tanzania. Um, and that's where they operated, you know, they all had sort of operating offices out of Tanzania because of the support that they got from um, this president. Mm -hmm. um, but nobody really knows about him, including a lot of Tanzanians. I mean, people know him, he's on the money and things like that. but. There's very few who actually know what he contributed and the the value of what he contributed. Is it because to, uh, not taught in schools, not given in the media? What do you? Well, <clears throat> I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that he was socialist, oh, okay. um, and there was a Cold War that took place in Africa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was a Cold War, but the Cold War was fought in Africa mm -hmm. um, because it was the U.S. versus the U.S.S.R and fighting over what control they would have over the resources, right. which is in Africa. Right. Um, and so countries like Tanzania that were socialist countries were very much um, demonized, mm. you know, um, and kind of shut down and impoverished a lot, you know, a lot of sanctions and things like that put on the countries because they were socialist countries. Mm. Um, not necessarily because we were aligned with the USSR, but um, because we're socialist and not capitalist. Mm. And so that's part of it. I mean, there was, for example, um, there was a very big group of Black Panthers that moved to and set up camp in Tanzania. Oh, wow. Um, in the 60s and 70s um, and were very instrumental in working towards liberation for Africa. Mm. And that, plus being a socialist country, really um, was a problem, yeah. you know. And so I've, I've actually met people who lived there for a while and were kind of smoked out after a while because the CIA came in and, you know, planted all these rumors that these people were spies or, you know, wow. did different things. People were killed, all sorts of, you know, politics. You know, so I think those are some of the reasons that Nyerere is not. And so as a result, by the time he stepped down, because he actually stepped down, he wasn't ousted out of power, he didn't die in power, he chose to leave, sure. um, which is significant because there's not many African presidents who've done that. Mm -hmm. Him and Mandela, I think, are like two, maybe there's a third one from Botswana who've actually chosen to leave office. Mm -hmm. um, he left office in 85, um, and at that time the country was very, very poor. So I think the focus at that point was just like, make money, you know, eat mm -hmm. food, like people were just, they needed things. Right. Um, and so unfortunately, with my generation, who didn't quite grow up under him, um, who grew up in the 80s, we just kind of know that he was the guy who left and we were really, really poor and we had to kind of build up from there. Mm -hmm. As opposed to the, you know, my older cousin's generation, for example, who grew up in the 60s and 70s, who went to school for free and had all sorts of different, um, you know, educational um, <coughs> systems and, um, you know, we're, we're, we're trained in a very different way under Mwalimu's um, president and leadership. Mwalimu is a Swahili word that means teacher, and that was, that was the term that was used, for, as opposed to his excellency or his honorable or whatever. <laughs> he was just called a teacher. Okay. Um, so that's the documentary that I'm working on right now. Nice. Yeah. Nice, very nice. Okay, so what type of projects do you usually find yourself working on? Are you drawn toward a certain type of film? Um, no. Mm -hmm. Actually, the films that I've worked on have been very varied. Really? Um, stylistically, mm -hmm. I think so. Um, mm -hmm. It'd be interesting for somebody else to tell me <laughs> what they think. <laughs> uh, I love comedy. Uh, so All My yeah, Friends Are Married is comedy. Um, right. And I have another short film. My previous short film 
that's been doing quite well, called The Market King. Soko Sonko was a comedy that's been so much fun to do. Mm -hmm. Before that, I did a thriller, and now I'm doing like a, oh, you know, so a, rom <laughs> a romantic nice. drama. Um, yeah, so I, I've done kind of like a variety of things. I, I think the things that you will not see me do are horror. That's not really, Your it's thing. not really my thing. Um, I don't find myself to be experimental. I, I don't, that's not really where I stand strong. Mm -hmm. um, so that's not quite what I would dabble in. Um, and my stories tend to include people of African heritage. So I have not come to a place where I can easily write for white people. Um, that's something that I struggle with at this point. I'm not able to speak in their voice mm -hmm. yet. Um, if well, someone were, they're not <laughs> able to speak in ours either. It's not a big so. deal. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's so. hard. It's hard when you're trying to look at another culture. It's yeah. for everybody. Right. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I can yeah. only put my experience on it. Right. Um, and I, while I've lived in America for several years, I've also, a lot of my life has been in Africa, and white people and how they work in Africa is very different from what it is here, because we have colonization there, right. um, and post-colonialism, and here it's it's also colonization, but it looks differently. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so my experience is just different. Right. Right. Not bad, just different. No, yeah, just, <laughs> just different.